So I've got the engine set up here on the floor and this uh, big bucket is pretending to be the ocean. That's our raw water cooling. We've got that circulating. We've got the heat exchanger there on the back of the engine. And I've got it set on the floor here so we can run it and uh, do some work on it, particularly the fuel metering. We want to adjust that. We're going to do that with the engine running. The other big job I've got to do is make a new stainless steel exhaust elbow um, and also the bit that injects the raw water down the exhaust pipe. I've got to feed that into the exhaust elbow. So uh, I've got to knock one of those up quick. When I uh, first put the engine in, I built one out of mild steel as a temporary job just to make sure I got the, uh, the pattern right. And it fitted exactly and it's been sat there ever since and it's finally rusted out, it's got holes in it. I'm taking that off and I'm just making one here out of uh, 316 stainless steel. So hopefully that will last a nice long time. Here we are with the engine set up on the floor and we've got it hooked up to a fuel tank hanging off the engine crane with a feed pipe and a return pipe for each cylinder. So we've got six of those hanging down. And what we're doing is we're going to run the engine and measure the amount of fuel that each cylinder uses. So I know there's one cylinder using more fuel than the others, that's why it's running a bit lumpy. So we're going to adjust the fuel metering then so all the cylinders are using exactly the same amount of fuel and get it running a lot smoother. So here we go, we're going to start it up now and see how much fuel it uses. That is maximum fuel that way, isn't it? So we need to... That is 1.5 This is the audio track of the engine running and you'll see on the left hand side is before the adjustment and on the right hand side is after the adjustment and it's amazing, I hadn't realised until I started editing this video how useful the audio would be, but you can see on the left it's, uh, it's pretty rubbish, and on the right it's much more even. And hey, the engine's running a lot smoother. So that's a big success. Do you want to say what you're trying to do today, John? <laughs> well, I'm going to bring the engine. I've, brought the, I've refurbished the engine, just done a bit of a quick refurb, and we've painted it. It's not a quick refurb, it's brand new. It was not <laughs> <laughs> and i'm going to shuffle it to the back here and amandine is going to lift it out yes with just one hand well the, the the deal was if i lifted it in and brought it down she said she would lift it out but so. you cheated to put it in <laughs> <laughs> looks pretty easy <laughs> I don't know what the faff is about <laughs> <laughs> something about looks and being deceiving <laughs> yeah right I've got to get my rope I'm going, I'm just going this side, then I've, I've had the number plate. Oh, right. So, yeah. We don't like him anyway, so we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's filming! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have no filter. Vicky, Vicky always. 
Jones introduces me to her friends as this is my friend John and he has no filter. But it's better to have this behind because that's our friends. Yes, they're our friends. Yes. Yes. These are our friends. Brilliant dive shop. They've got a boat, their own uh, high speed boat, and it's not a rib, it's got a proper cabin and you know it's, it's really nice, it's got berths and everything. Yeah. And and they also have an, um, a swimming pool they do training in as well. Obviously do training in the sea, but they've got a heated swimming pool. Oh <laughs> bliss. And the dive instructors are really nice. I mean it's just a super business, they're just lovely people. a Lombardini engine, this particular one, for generating electricity. Try to go in to see the brand It's obviously here. not this uh, farm machinery orange. Do I need to help again? Uh, can you hold that? I can. Well, not yet. I'll tell you what, you've got to bring these two roads and that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the engine as well, no? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, that would be really helpful. <laughs> Don't scratch the paint job. No. Do not scratch the paint. Well done, John. Nothing. Yeah. Just gonna grab everything. <laughs> Our lovely book, you see. Do you want me to go on the boat? Look at that, perfect! Oh, but we are Whoa, it's going out the other side. <laughs> we are like experts and how long do you think it took us to do that? It's just natural skill, you can't buy that sort of expertise, that's just genetics. It is! Right, uh, I need your help now. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Okay, so you need to come in here. Yeah. And uh, you need to hold the engine. Yeah. So that it's in a straight line like this. Yeah. It doesn't swing about too much. Yeah. Oh, I need to.
Yep. Yep, more. Okay. Okay, yeah. Stop, okay. Okay, Amandine's outside doing the heavy lifting and I'm inside doing the guiding. Okay, when you're ready, Amandine. I am ready. Okay. So you have to lift it up, but keep hold of it as you lift it up. Keep pulling towards you now. Now, so let it down. Let me hurt it too quick. Stop. A bit more. Yeah. Yeah, we're in. Um, okay, so let's have lunch. Should we stop the camera then? Yes, sir. Uh, let's stop the camera. Let's do stop everything. Let's just have lunch. Um, because okay that's it finished how long did it take from leaving the boat to go to the car walking up to the car lifting the engine out of the car bringing it all the way back down onto the pontoon lifting it on board and putting it onto its engine beds and uh, mountings all we've got to do now is just connect up one electric plug and two diesel pipes and uh, water pipes they all just plug and play and guess how long we it took us oh, hang on and we and then we just got to line it up for the shaft so that'll take a minute or two but to get it all installed on its engine beds it took us 50 minutes don't say it say guess how long it took put it in the comment yeah Charles, we don't get enough viewers for that <laughs> we only get three viewers <laughs> yeah mm. but let's try no okay no yeah let's try i'll tell you what put it in the comments now while we're running and at the end i'll tell you Right. Guess how long it took us to get it to go to the car, get the engine out, bring it down to the boat, put it on the boat and get it on its engine beds ready just to connect up. And put it in the comments now while this is running and I'll tell you at the end. Because we just don't get enough viewers. I know. I mean we're not popular enough Amandine, you know. I know. We've got to, um, yeah. Should I stop? Something. Should you stop? Yes, please.